This is a short video on how to export a machining operation to one of your own machining libraries so that on another file you can import that operation and then just pick uh, new geometry and containment boundaries. So I have here a uh, operation that is working. So what I'm going to do is export this to a library. So I'm going to right click in the operations manager and I'm going to go ahead and tell it to export this. It pops up a window and I don't particularly like putting them into the mill inch operation folder. I like to make a new one. And I might just name it uh, My Favorites. So we're going to output, export, I should say, this operation. We really don't need the geometry to go with it because we're going to be picking new geometry later. So all you have to do is hit the plus sign. That'll export it. Comes back, successful and then simply exit out of this operation. That's all there is to export it. In the next short video I'll show you how to import those operations. Okay, so now I'm going to go over importing the uh, operations. Um, I've already got a new file opened up here, a different set of surfaces. I've already created a different containment boundary. I'm going to go ahead and set my planes on this particular part uh, to the back side. I already got my machine group in here, so now I'm going to go ahead and do an import. Right click in the operations manager, select import from the menu, reopen your favorites uh, library that you created earlier, and this time we're going to bring in that one surface operation. Uh, I don't need new speeds and feeds. I do want it to use, pick up the new current uh, tool and construction planes, my back plane that I selected, so I'm going to turn that on. Not bringing any geometry, not worried about disabled checking. All right, so hit the plus sign. That'll bring it in. Uh, do we want the operations group name? Eh, not this time, no. And that's successful. We can exit out of that. So there's the operation, but we need our drive geometry and our containment. So we'll select geometry. This will be our drive surface, end of selection. And we'll pick our containment boundary as that guy. OK that. One other thing we will need to do on this particular part, we will have to go to our depths page because the way I have this one sitting on the table, we're going to need to start in the middle of the, of the hump here would be negative uh, 12 inches and the back side of the hump would be negative 24. So we can OK that, regenerate, and hopefully we'll get a tool path here that cuts the back side of that cylinder. And that looks pretty good. And you can save some programming time that way because all the other settings are technically good to go. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching.